not your average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome to Not Your Average Tabletop. I'm Zach. And I'm Pepper. And today we're doing another episode of Take My Money, where we go over some of the current uh, crowdfunding campaigns that we got in the board game world. Uh, today we've got what five Kickstarters and two game found projects. Yes. We've got a lot, a lot to get through. This may be the biggest Take My Money episode to date. Exactly. And since it's the biggest, you guys better let us know in the comments below what you're currently backing or if you, there's something you're, you're waiting for that's going to be maybe launching in, you know, who knows, the next few weeks, possibly. Yeah. Let us know. We'll maybe have to look into it. Yes. Uh, but here is one, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood of Venice Apocalypse. Um which I believe is an expansion to uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood of Venice. Yes. At first, I thought this was going to be like a, its own game. Mm, yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. So yeah, I do not knowing nothing about. The original. I do not remember there being an Assassin's Creed game. I mean, it sounds kind of familiar, but it looks like this mm -hmm. one is pretty highly rated and it has the seal of excellence from the Dice Tower, which is one of our favorite channels. So it's interesting that I. It's not really been on my radar. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so this one has done really well. Uh, 309,000. Um, definitely succeeded in that 56,000 goal. And over 2,000 backers with still seven days to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I think I I feel like the Assassin's Creed uh, IP has been something I've always been interested in, although I've never <laughs> uh, played any of the games. Yeah, um, same. So... This kind of interests me a little bit because I'm like, hmm, you know, a board game implementation of something that I've found interesting. And I, I wonder if maybe if I had played the games and liked them or whatever, if it would make me more interested. Um, just because yeah, I don't it, it actually know like, like these characters just, from the actual games. I don't know. Just the idea of sneaking around being an assassin um, type of character that um, is intriguing for me. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it's like it has. Some great why back now get some free miniatures only during this <laughs> Kickstarter campaign. Absolutely free. Um, oh boy. <laughs> I'm interested how how big this is going to be. That is that is a thirty two centimeter tower. Um so that'd be up there with the biggest miniatures in our collection if we did get that, but that is very cool. Um mm -hmm. I wish that that bell was an actual bell you could ring. Who knows? Maybe they'll eventually upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> At some point. Uh, yeah, I, I think that stuff definitely looks cool. I, I just don't know what that means for the box size because there looks like there's already um, yeah quite a bit of content as we're going through a lot of nice looking minis. Um, yeah, I, I do really like, like the artwork these, of the... Yeah, I really like the board stuff. tiles. They just really give mm -hmm. me that feeling of just these modern video games that just almost look exactly like reality. Um, mm -hmm. It just looks so clear and so detailed and realistic, and I get that feel uh, from these tiles as well, at least. Mm -hmm. That is picture. true. It does have, a, it does have like a video game almost look to it. Yeah, um, yeah I would agree. I, I, I like the look of it uh, for yeah, this so... game in particular. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, the pledge for just this new expansion um, will be at 96 US dollars. Um, it includes all of this stuff, a ton of miniatures, a bunch of cards, uh, a bunch of map tiles as well. Um, insert all that stuff, but still already at a hundred dollars for an expansion, which, like we said, we have not played the original game, so we would have to get the core box. And if we <laughs> want just the core box, that's going to be 200 bucks here, uh, but we will hit that free tower. Uh, which we will have to try to find some place to store. Right. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm assuming then that this box is pretty big and... Yeah, looks very long. Yeah, you can get all, go all in as well for almost $300. Um, oh, that's not all in. That's, that's oh, the, wait a minute. That's the core box and that expansion for 296 You oh, can go get the other three expansions um, and bump it up to 473 bucks. <laughs> Which that's true. It's a bit of barrier to entry, I will say. Um, yeah. So if we did go in, uh, we'd probably just get the base game just to get that experience first. 
Um, but still, that is 200 bucks for um, something that we're not sure if we're going to like and don't even know if we would like the video game version. Right. You can buy yeah. those expansions individually. Yeah. I would agree that, yeah, that is a bit of a barrier to entry. Just, you know, the, going back to a core game, I guess I don't know um, how much it was originally. It looks like you very, definitely get a lot of content. Very, very there. cool miniatures here. I love mm -hmm. that. You're getting structures as well as characters. I always love structure miniatures. Yeah, I, I would agree. I, I think they definitely look really cool. But at the end of the day, does this bring something new to the table enough that it's $200 worth and not like, you know, there's a lot of a lot of cards here, a lot of all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be something that's overwhelming? I don't know. Um, just because yeah. once you get some of these kind of bigger boxes and um, secret envelopes, I, I'm assuming you're doing like some missions and stuff, possibly. Um, yeah, it just yeah. gets to be a lot, but yeah, it, it does. So probably not going to be back in this. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm interested in the game, so mm -hmm. probably have to look into it. Maybe watch a gameplay or two, or some uh, more in depth reviews to see if should maybe hunt down a copy of that original game um but yeah, it looks like right. they're aiming for a march 2024 um mm -hmm. which actually isn't too far off um it's True. under a year it's about nine months nine, yeah. ten months so i mean yeah if they had the original one mm -hmm. yeah um, yeah yeah i wonder what the retail version goes for i'm guessing it doesn't have miniatures and stuff mm -hmm. yeah um, so yeah, that one has cardboard standees, um, cardboard, more cardboard standees, dividers, more cardboard things. So yeah, if you do want that game, I'm not sure yeah what that goes for. It's not an option here that I know of to get mm -hmm. that. Um, so they're very much pushing that <laughs> deluxe version. But yeah, a lot of content here. Wait a minute. Do those have... Oh, oh my goodness. A board presence. <laughs> oh no. We better um, get Pepper off this before I am being pulled in here. <laughs> but yeah, I yeah. like this that they have the current status of the uh, different parts of the game. Um, mm -hmm. Very clear. Maybe other things have them, but I've never seen it this clearly stated of I would the agree. parts of the game. Um, yeah, zero I think more need this. Um, yes. Just because. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes I feel like it's some of the games are not as developed as you might think they are. Um, yeah. And Hello, not really that close to finishing. So yeah. that gives you an idea of how they're going to, you know, deliver by next March. So. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, so shipping looks like it's going to be quite a bit. Um, so for the US, the apocalypse. So yeah. just mm -hmm. the expansion looks like that's going to be 24 bucks. Um, up to yeah. possibly 59 bucks for the all in. Um, so yeah. it's about what you'd expect. So even if you get the core box, you're starting to get near 250 after shipping. So yeah, it gets to be quite a bit. But yeah, it, is, it, it looks interesting. I'd like to try it sometime. We'll see if we ever get that chance or opportunity. Yeah, maybe, maybe it'll come to Board Game Arena. <laughs> <laughs> Don't see many of these types of games there, but that no. would be pretty nice. Um, but yeah. On to Sigil. Um, a little smaller game here <laughs> compared to that. Now, this is a two-player battling game um, where you're casting spells, sigils, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. We don't care about theme here. <laughs> right. Looks like it's about 18,000 with 261 backers. So it definitely does feel like a, a little bit of a, a smaller project. Um, and it's kind of one of those that feels like it might you know, belong on Kickstarter, give the game a chance. Yes. yes. Yep. Be seen out there. So and 20 minutes. So I always looking for a nice two player game, short time. Um, mm -hmm. Not many games that can hit that 20 minute mark. Um, yeah. And I feel like a lot of times they don't factor in things like setup, but this one does look like it's pretty easy to set up from what I've seen. Just place a few mm -hmm. things out on the board, so I don't think that'll be a problem either. Um, but yeah, pledge levels, you get 
but they were 39 bucks for just the game otherwise mm-hmm. a neoprene mat which neoprene mat did look quite nice but you would have still a cardboard right. board so it's not like one of the ones where it actually adds like somewhere to put things you still will have that in the base game um, mm-hmm. but that'll be 64 bucks or else 159 which <laughs> includes neoprene mat and two custom wooden hex boxes made in partnership with Ravenwood Woodworking, or this $600 version, limited quantity. Um, so you can show it off uh, with a collector's edition, including lacquer wooden game box and live live edge and boxy hex boxes, also made in partnership with Ravenwood Gaming. So absolutely no chance I would back one of these higher versions. <laughs> I mean, it's probably cool stuff, but... I see these I sometimes, agree. and I'm like, ah, just, I guess we'll see. We'll I would see agree. I, actually I, I, I don't there know. Are I, five backers at the uh, 600 level, and there are only eight made. Um, so it's not like they're expecting a ton of people to go for that. But um, right. there are obviously a few people who are willing to do that. Um, that doesn't add anything for me personally. Yeah, I know. That's. I feel like that's only something you should really do if it's like a... I don't know, like an already well-known game that's well-received. Um, eventually just come up with like a collector's edition type thing or something like that. I yeah, yeah. I don't know uh, when the game is new. You have no idea how good it's going to be, yeah. uh, how much you're going to like it. Yeah. But if you want to you know, take that chance on it, you can definitely, definitely back at that level. So yeah, unless you're kind of placing stones on this board and uh, mm-hmm. moving them around trying to manipulate them and maybe bump out your opponents from spaces and take full control of these little spell areas, which can possibly give you ongoing bonuses or ones that you activate. Um, And I think you're pretty much trying to get the majority in kind of the center area here, get at least three of your tokens to win um, the game, which it looked pretty cool um, from what I saw. Uh, (laughs) It looked like a kind of a tug of war game where you're trying to have more of the things out there than your opponent. Um, yeah yeah but yeah i i was just curious how i'm trying to think like if it would be one that i'd want to play over and over again i, I wasn't sure if i was getting that feeling from oh yeah, what I, was yeah looking I don't at, or if it'd be exactly. one that i just maybe want to try a time or two and kind of maybe be good with it i don't know yeah i don't I know if really it, tell let's see that's 15 spells uh, which mm-hmm. I believe there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spots on the board for spells. I assume this includes every size and spell. Um, so there's a few extra for replayability's sake, it seems. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't know how unique it will feel from game to game. Um, but mm-hmm. I will say that just kind of watching it played, um, I feel did kind of bring across the theme of just. Mm-hmm casting spells, doing weird things like that, whatever. I'm not as into that kind of theme, but it did feel similar to that just from what I saw for being a pretty abstract game. No, yeah, yeah, this one, Also abstract. looking for kind of February, March uh, 2024. Um, meet everybody, all the designers. Um, shipping was uh, 10 bucks there for that base pledge or 30 yeah. or 45 so. Not too bad. Um, not too bad. I think the yeah, price I, I, is I, I, decent. It's yeah. Nah, for me, it seems a little high for a pretty abstract seeming yeah. game. Yeah. Um, oh, it's like you can play it online. Um, so yeah. might give that a try. Um, see what mm-hmm. it's like. Because um, I, I am interested to see uh, how the reception is to this game. Obviously, they do have quotes that say it is very nice, and the components look really nice, like the artwork and. The, Stones here, mm-hmm. metal dice looks like metal dice at least. Mm-hmm. But yeah, looking forward to yeah. maybe giving this one a shot someday, maybe online. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking you'd maybe be a little more interested than I would, but it'd be one that I'd give a chance to, especially if it's only supposed to be around 20 ish minutes. Mm, yeah, yep. And then into the gods' grave. Oh, digital boy. hybrid board game of fate. And divine resurrection. So <laughs> digital, Lucky Duck Games is like okay, this is Destiny's five Destiny. Exactly. 
Um, yeah, so so it is lucky nut game. So I, I think I uh, probably need to note too that uh, I think they've got it like three or four, three outstanding product projects. Maybe oh, I think like one on here, and a couple on game found. Uh, just to note that not saying anything is <laughs> wrong or anything, but just I'm gonna get backed up on them sometimes. Some things can happen all of a sudden. So oh, hopefully this... they've got it all under control. Yeah, uh, but it is doing well, so no one is caring too much about it currently. Uh, yeah, 235,000, yeah. uh, 2,200 backers. Also uh, six days ago. Uh, yep. And yeah, this one to me seemed like kind of a another sort of Destinies-like game, kind of an adventure game, app-driven, and yeah, it, it looked interesting. I, I feel like this is one that... Um, I'd probably like to try out. Mm, uh, yeah. Yeah. I at some point probably. Just get uh, the app and just try to simulate it just <laughs> using the app. That's true. Could try to do that. And I think it's I don't think it's supposed to be an overwhelming amount of content, which mm, yeah. is a good thing, I think. Sometimes yeah. these offer hundreds of hours of gameplay and it's like, well, I'm never probably going to see game. And yeah, if this one's closer to around 20-ish to 30, or however, I don't know how much. Um, I think that is more doable yeah. versus Hello. You know, yeah. hundreds and hundreds of hours. Uh, then you kind of are just dedicating all your time to a game like that. Yeah, that's true. Um, and this, was, this one, did it have scenarios or was it like, an, I didn't, I think you know a little more about it than I do, or is it just one big campaign um, type of thing? And if so, is that replayable? Uh, uh i i don't think i know it that well no, uh, yeah. uh but yeah, i i think so um mm -hmm. from a little i guess i know of it, it, it seemed all. like that was the case what's this all about the divine playground um uh, yeah it just this? it made me think similar to that uh yeah. with maybe a little bit of a different slightly different feel yeah. um uh, but yeah. Yeah, yes. it, it seemed like an interesting thing to be exploring. But yeah, yeah at the same time, uh, I saw the deliver expected delivery date, and that was kind of a like, oh, okay, my I think I'm, I'm going to probably wait. December uh, 2024. Wow. I mean, it's not like that long, but I mean, if they, uh, if 18 they months is out there a ways. Maybe they're factoring in being backed up a bit. Who knows? That's uh, true. It could be. Yeah. Um, that's a bit off. And that's just for the thank you um, pledge. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. I, I think I'd have to look into this one more and actually see um, if there's mm, some, yeah. see some gameplay of it, actual gameplay, if they've got some videos out there. The um, but yeah, game initially apps. I was thinking. Um, so this is app tied into, um, but still has 400 plus cards. It's interesting. 380 euro cards. Oh boy. It's, that is a lot. That is a lot. That's a lot. Oh my goodness. Uh, for sure. Uh, yeah, I, I like any of the games. They have a few games that are um, integrated with an app, um, and I think that um, frees up a lot. Usually they don't initially come with that many scenarios on them. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's probably enough because they are a little replayable, but um, yeah. I just know with, I think, Chronicles of Crime, at least, I didn't play all the scenarios, but I looked at the amount. I forget how many it was. I know they have more now, and you can download additional ones or get them in expansions, but initially it was maybe like three or four or something like that, and I was like, oh, that feels... Mm -hmm. I think Destiny is similar. Yeah, yeah. Feels Which... like, ah, oh, should maybe get... A little more than that, but then at the same time, you don't want a giant box um, mm -hmm. um, with that stuff. But um, it feels good. Yeah, it's and like, I honestly don't know scenarios. how long it takes to do it. Um, yeah, to yeah. do the story and get it into the app, I don't know how long that takes. I would guess that's probably a big chunk of why they can only do so many at once, uh, especially if it ended up being kind of something people didn't like. Um, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I'm sure it takes a long time but, to really get it all working and tied together because it says mm -hmm. like you're making decisions and they go on to affect future things. And it's obviously very complicated. Um, yeah, we have a lot of 
a lot of very cool miniatures um, here a bunch of tokens the trickster mm -hmm. that's me we got a crossbow <laughs> and there's you the noble wow um, but yeah the pledges <laughs> wow, wow. are the basic pledge for 80 bucks here it also seems a little bit steep yeah a little bit a little bit Ooh, metal tokens add on expanded <laughs> pledge with some expansions um for 120 129 bucks or the collector pledge with all the add-ons for deluxe things here add mm -hmm. on to bring you up to 180 bucks so that's a bit steep when we already do have destinies and still have a lot more to explore in that um, mm -hmm. but if you don't have any of these type of games my experience with them has been very good i've liked them all um, mm -hmm. they've done a pretty good job with them half integration it makes things so smooth and i think they're just only going to be getting better at it um, as they go and make more so um, mm -hmm. if this game does deliver <laughs> with lack of doubting um should be a good game i think i i, I would think so yeah. it, they've had a pretty good track record so i would expect them to be pretty good hopefully yeah on to probably the most Zach game here, I will say, is Carson City Big Box. Finally back. Yes, from Aquinid <laughs> Games, which is Frenzy Aquinid Games, I believe. Mm -hmm. Is that the only one we have from them? I think that might be the only one we have. That's probably uh, not what people would guess. They probably don't even know that one exists. <laughs> it's a great game, Frenzy. It is a really good game. I don't know, available it is, but... I don't think it, well, at least the last I tried, it was not very available. I even reached out to, I think they have an email at their uh, website. I reached out and saw if I could get or buy a co another copy, and uh, they said no. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe they're eventually going to reprint it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this one is probably one one of them that I'm most interested in. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like it has some potential, um, some potential negative player interaction or a little bit oh, yeah. of that in there. Well, so I think that would be mechanism for taking the same spots. Yeah. Um, so I feel like even that if you lose, maybe don't get anything um, from what I've seen. I, I, I believe so. So I, I don't know that that would be the best for our group. I don't know that I, it's hard to say without playing it, but I, I don't know that I would mind that much, but yeah. Yeah. I, I just don't know if, um, I don't know. We're pretty. Yeah. I, I feel like we're pretty friendly most of the time with our yeah. games, even in, if there is the chance to be kind of a, a nasty Nelly. Uh, we usually avoid that most of the time. Not always, but well, uh, mo most of us do it most of the time. <laughs> I am not in that group. <laughs> exactly, uh, but yeah, this one. I, I, although I, I think this one looks and sounds interesting. Uh, it, I will say the. Um, wood version versus non-wood version I was like eh. I usually like wooden pieces but I wasn't like totally like 100% yeah. sold on oh yes this looks like really good upgrades yeah so I think the artwork's very nice in these um, um, house artwork and they kind of take the spot of squares on the board um, so I guess I'll scroll up try to find the board here so yeah, they're taking the spots of the squares on the board. So instead of a, another tile with a house there, it's just a house token, mm -hmm. pretty basic one, which I don't know if that kind of breaks up the look of the map a little bit, just switching over to that token. The mountains seem to fit in a little more. Yeah, I think I'm a little more fine with the mountains, but yeah, the, I don't know, the houses look I like... might rather have a cardboard yeah. I don't know, cause yeah, I thought the artwork on the the thing is, I think the artwork on there looks yeah. pretty good. So it's like We're just having a little tile, I think not really a screen printed house. It looks kind of like a almost a monopoly house. Yeah, uh, just is not overly inspiring to me. Oh, well, monopoly uh, house. I think a little more detail. I do like they this, do, have but a that is more exactly detail. what I thought of. Uh, so yeah, I I just don't know that these are the greatest wooden but the revolvers upgrades. and the horses, horse minis. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh no, he doesn't like those. Although I, I don't they're like. Fine. I mean, they're fine. We're just gonna just... go. We're just gonna go totally negative here. I don't really like black in wooden components. Um, could be either. just 
well, we have a black rug on the top of our table. <laughs> probably um, part of it. Probably, but even without that, it's just still hard to see them sometimes. Uh, so mm -hmm. maybe you would have preferred like maybe like a a shiny silver type thing to maybe yeah. um, match the uh, revolver there. Not, I don't know if they had shiny ones back in the day. Who knows? <laughs> Right, but yeah, if you Most give it a shine or something, I think that would have actually made me like it more. Um, and then, yeah, do some detail on the mountains, maybe put some snow cap. Okay. I don't know, do some, something a little bit, a little bit different. So then I was like, uh, cancel this project, prices. take all our ideas. And <laughs> I was I was looking at kind of the prices here, and I'm like, okay, well, I don't have Carson City, so I guess if you have that, that's, there's a little bit of a cheaper option to kind of upgrade to this. Otherwise, you got 75 euros. Yeah, uh, seventy-five like cardboard cardboard edition, uh, which they're crossed out. Say it's usually a hundred euros, but I don't, I don't believe that. Uh, <laughs> and then the wood edition um, will be at ninety five euros. Uh, um, which I was like, because I thought earlier I had seen metal coins. I was like, well, I guess with that and stuff, it's not too bad. Oh, metal my. coins are not included in any of the pledge levels. Uh, that's an add-on, and that's like an additional 40, um, um, yeah, like 40 euros. So I'm like, okay, so to get what I think is one of the coolest parts of this, yeah, uh, so you have to kind of about, add on. A... So about 80 coins there you're getting. Um, so a euro for every two uh, coins. That's, that's a, I don't know if I've ever seen a metal coin upgrade that expensive. Um, but they do it does seem a bit spendy. They do look really. So I'm nice, trying to. <laughs> I will say. I, I, there must be a way to do it. I don't know how on GameFound you see what it is in U.S. dollars, but I'm guessing it's close to 50 U.S. dollars. Um, and that just games. it seems like a lot, but oh, yeah. maybe not. Let's see. Let's see. There's a lot. It looks like there's a lot in the box, so maybe, maybe it's worth the 75 to 90. So they just had but... regular dice in the base, and these are custom for this. Um, which I do like that design for the dice, kind of the revolver ammo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do like that as well. Afterwards. But it also, I don't know. It, I don't know that it looks like it fits with the game. Yeah, probably not. I, I like I like the thought of it, but that feels like it should be in more of a Cody Rhodes <laughs> promo pack. There, there we go. <laughs> Vincent Grant and Cody Rhodes. No, that one feels like it should be in more of like a. Fun, like oh, ten yeah. minute, ten minute shooter game or something like, yeah, know, like fun. Um, Colt Express or something like that. Yeah, that's what it feels like it should be in, not a game like this. Yeah, um, I do like that is... they have this here showing that the metal coins are not included. Yes, because yeah. <laughs> yeah, right away I saw Game Found exclusive and I'm like, oh, okay, so oh, you're getting that included if you buy that here. It gives you a reason to buy, but then no, that's not. It's just this solo is when you get them though. Yeah, um, but yeah, it is bringing um, most of the expansions, or I think mm -hmm. probably all. I don't know, but it was mentioned a lot of different expansions and extra little things that have been added to the game through the mm -hmm. years. Um, so if you want everything, I think this is a really good chance to get all of that in one yep. uh, package. I would agree, and yeah, I, other than all that negative stuff, uh, I I would be excited to try this one. It's yeah. probably um one of the top ones this week that i would actually want to try uh, just because it sounds like a, yeah. a euro game with a little bit more interaction it seems like these days a lot of the euro games don't it's kind of like yeah. what yeah. is it solo yeah. kind of yeah multi solo playing solitaire multi multiplayer game. solitaire um, yeah. but yeah i really like the kind of track there and you kind of resolve the actions in order uh mm -hmm. as you place your workers on there i love anything that has an order of resolution in games i've seen a few here and there where i'm like oh that's really neat to have to factor in what order you're going to get things um mm -hmm. but yeah nice looking game hopefully we'll get a chance to play it sometime uh, mm -hmm. i guess what was what's the complexity on that oh yeah i don't know if we mentioned it's well funded uh, 185 000 euros 2000 backers um but what is the complexity on carson city i'm not sure exactly. uh, i don't yeah. remember um, I think it's 13. a little bit more, so it's probably around a three point something on Board Game Geek. Yeah, would be my guess. I'm not sure off the top of my head. Yeah, I could handle that. So maybe we'll have <laughs> to give it a shot sometime. 
Maybe he could handle it. We'll see. Yes. <laughs> Next one we have, oh boy, a lot in this song. The AEG Expansion Extravaganza. New expansions for four of their most popular games, Space Space, War Chest, Tiny Towns, and Cubitos. Plus deals on everything else. Yes. It's kind of, kind of crazy because they just recently had uh, their daily dice deals that they did uh, for pretty, uh, a good chunk of the month of May. Uh, yes. And took advantage of uh, that a little bit. <laughs> uh, now, it was actually so the only one of the main games that I have not played here, or either of us have not played, I don't believe, is War Chest, which I believe is on Board Game Arena. Oops. We just have not gotten around to playing it. Should have. Uh, because they did have up to like 55% off their website uh, during that. And it, I was just about to just pull the trigger on it and give it a chance. I don't know how they can survive these deals. My goodness. I don't know. You watch this it's, video and they're just slashing prices. It is. Killing themselves with these deals. My <laughs> goodness. Uh, but yeah, it's 190,000. Pretty well. 190,000. 2,800. 2,900 backers, actually. One away. You can be. 2900th backer. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I. Oops. But they have. Yes. They've got a, a lot ton of, of expansions for this. Two expansions already for Space Space, two for War Chest, two for Tiny Towns. Nothing for commuters yet, but that is all about to change. Each <laughs> one of them getting a brand new expansion. Um, yes. And they're just chopping those prices off. Those, those expansions haven't even had prices yet. <laughs> and they're chopping them. In. <laughs> uh, Already taking them down a notch. <laughs> but yeah, this, um, I do like that they're offering like an a la carte. Uh, yeah. Just because they probably don't know what people have. Uh, if they've got um, maybe some expansions, maybe they only have some of the base games and some yeah. expansions. And uh, you, you just kind of just no pick and choose. None of the base games. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yeah, this is, I guess, a good chance if you want to buy all the stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I guess I don't know. I didn't look at how easily you could maybe buy some of these kind of elsewhere. Like if that, you know, great slash price is really a great yeah. slash price. I, I don't know. I looked at, I went to Amazon. I went to Miniature Market. It, neither of them had all of the existing things. Um, so mm. it's still missing a few and obviously missing all the new things. And I was adding them up and each of them uh, easily got, they got right to around 190 bucks as well. Um, so then throw in another um, four or five, six things, um, that's going to um, be quite a bit more. Um, so mm -hmm. I, I would say that this um, Probably saving something that yeah. is a very nice price. If you do want all of this, um, I think that's probably about as good as it's going to get. Because um, I was a little wary when I looked at it. I'm like, is that really the best price here? Right. Or are they just I've, typing it up? But it, it looks... Right. Like 486 I, I I think you could do better than 486 I, I don't know that that's... Because, um, yeah, they're all... None yeah, of I, them are, like, brand new games. Even Cubitos, which, which is the one that doesn't have prior expansions isn't that new um yeah, so yeah. i think you could probably get all the base i mean all the stuff for a little bit cheaper than that i think maybe not yeah yeah um but yeah, yeah. we do have played space space quite a bit um probably the most about up there maybe tiny towns up there too uh, we've enjoyed both of those as well haven't played cubitos as much um, but i've enjoyed my plays of that and war chest looks really cool especially components wise little poker chips it seems mm -hmm. Um, but I think that's kind of a battling game. Um, is it just two yeah. player or are there more two players? I think it's a two player game. Okay. Um, yeah, so I that, believe. I'm pretty interested in that one. Um, so Space Space will probably for sure at some point get this. It's one of my <laughs> favorite games. Um, have both the other expansions. Haven't played the second one yet, uh, but looking forward to adding this. There's not a, I don't think there's a campaign element to this, which is I don't think so. Kind of like it was more cards and stuff. Yeah, versus... Just add cards in there, which probably four at this point. The first um, kind of campaign didn't go overly well for us. It wasn't super epic. Uh, didn't put mm -hmm. the second one, obviously. But um, we got this one as well. War Chest, like we said. 
Don't know what it is, but it looks like it adds different um, units with different abilities. So mm -hmm. I'm guessing it adds a good bit. Hopefully they are cool um, characters. Can't really say much about that. <laughs> Towns Architects. Dude, not sure. I, I guess the thing about Orcus is it's got like those plastic chips, which yeah. makes it seem like a pretty good deal for the the pricing on it. Yeah. Um, just in general. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think that one's on board game arena if you wanted to try that one out. Um, but yeah, we got tiny towns, which this is probably the one I figured space base probably be the one you're probably most interested in. I don't know if that's the right <laughs> assumption, uh, but I think this one would be the one I'm the most interested in. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it adds four of a lot, four new types of all the buildings, which I'm not sure exactly how many there are, but there's like probably eight. there's at least I four. There's quite I forget. A few. With the if you have all the if you have the other two expansions, it, it's probably a decent amount. Yeah, I don't so, remember exactly. Yeah, a ton of replayability added here. Mm -hmm. Only one new cottage though, but five new monuments and as a dry erase, which I always like a nice dry erase I do scoreboard. Like that. Um, but also added 140 stickers <laughs> plus stickers to add to your bits, which. I don't know. It depends if they fit. If they're hanging over the edges, which some mm -hmm. students do, then it's just not even worth it. Um, I would agree. But I, I, I like these stickers. Um, I don't know. They probably fit with the game. I think just looking at them. I think they'd be fine. But yeah, I don't like you said. I, as long as they're cut well and they're not overhanging, because then I just as well not. I mean. That's, just screen print some some wood. That can't be much. Yeah, just screen print everything. Time. Put it in this expansion for twenty dollars. Put a screen printing kit in there. Yeah, for everybody. <laughs> there won't be then nightmare no. scenarios there. But then Kabito says, "Foul play, foul well, play." John declared instant back here. I'm pretty interested in this. I mean, those are two of my favorite colors. There, my goodness, they were holding out on me here. <laughs> like just don't give Pepper all the good colors. Your good Thank buddy you. John Declare was betraying you. Oh my goodness! New animals, and I believe it adds another two abilities to every existing color as well. So another good batch of replayability as well as a new board, which mm -hmm. uh, we haven't outplayed the other board. This is probably one of this is criminally underplayed in our collection. I will say, at least for me, I, don't I would agree. It. Like a that's where I, I, I just I'm just kind of I don't know kind of surprised I, and I don't hear it talked about very much and yeah. Uh, yeah when we first got it I was like wow you can definitely I mean kind of I guess it gets compared to Clax of Quedlinburg. Uh you can see how it's easily expandable easily yeah. add those dice and stuff I'm surprised it's taken this long kind of makes me wonder if they've had it kind of there oh, and have been yeah. waiting for something or waiting to do like this I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I would That's wonder possible. if that one's kind of been done the longest, maybe. Maybe not. I have no idea. That's possible. Maybe they didn't think it could really survive on its own. Need to throw with all this other big hitters. But, I mean, yeah, how can this game not be more popular? Look at that cover star there. The cheese. <laughs> the SpongeBob The cheese. big cheese. <laughs> the big cheese. Uh, but, yeah, yeah. I, I would say that... Yeah, if you're interested in all this stuff, I, I think it's probably all pretty good stuff. Which is crazy because, I mean, if we didn't have any of this stuff, I think this would be a good thing for us to get. Um, but we do have so much of it already. It obviously um, wouldn't go the all in. But mm -hmm. I, mean, I think like all of these would probably fit in the collection, all the expansions too. So. I could go back in time and just give an all in to myself. This this would be a good one. Um, shipping's not too bad. Um, even mm -hmm. the all in with everything there is only sixteen bucks for the U.S. It, they're even slashing these prices. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's actually yeah, go that, that shipping business. is actually a good good part of it too. Yeah, yep. yeah you're getting that point. What four base games and what two, four, six, ten expansions. Or something like that. And access to add-ons. Who knows and what else you're going to be adding on. Um, yeah, that's and going for April 2024. So um, 
that's that's a good dis. I think that's acceptable for how much is here, even though a lot of it has already been produced at one point or another. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think part of it teams. too is the a la carte aspect to it is probably going to be the hardest part uh, yeah. because it's not like a easy thing. It's like, oh yep, ship that out to everyone. Ship that same thing out to everyone. Yeah, it's gonna be someone who wants this and someone who wants that. Um, but just makes uh, takes a little bit longer when you're delivering that. Whereas if they only were allowing kind of the new expansions, I think you could probably do it a little bit quicker. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I need to. I need to personally meet every one of these um, team members from all these games to know if I should back this. <laughs> but yeah, if you're these are all what we've played. I recommend all the games. Can't recommend War Chess, but. From what I do know, it's deemed to be a good so mm -hmm. Check it out and pick whatever you want from that. <laughs> a la carte. The Ruse. Ruse Instincts of the Den. Hey, another. Are these gonna, is this going to be a thing now? Fox themed games? You had the Fox experiment uh, a little it ways back, be. and now we got this. It might be. What do you think of that cover? I like the cover. I like the cover. Um, Oh, does I it, saw, hmm? does it make you feel like what uh, the game says to be? Fox theme, Euro style strategy game, unique design with worker placement, territory exploration, resource, and dice management? I, I think the cover could feel that way. Um, I don't think the board matches the cover. I don't think the board matches the theme. The board, well, I'll get into the board when we see the board, but I guess <laughs> you don't think the cover matches? I think I, I think I actually like the board better than the cover. Um, I, I think it's a fine cover, but I, I, I don't know. It's not my favorite. Not Makes my me favorite. think of Abyss. Like, kind of in this video here, they kind of kept flashing the different foxes. Yeah, I did not and I was like, like that. Are they going <laughs> I did to... not like that. <laughs> you didn't like that? No. no. This one's I... at 65,000, almost eight, eight, a little over 800 backers. Yeah. That I was, was wondering if they were going to be alternate box covers then, once it kept <laughs> uh, flashing that. Um <laughs> But it was not. That God I no! Do not allow that. Um, but yeah, it's, <laughs> no, it's, it's it's fine. Yeah, um, but yeah, I, I like that cover. Um, but yeah, the board I don't think matches at all. This looks looks like yeah, a city. I would say they definitely looks do like not match each other. City. That's what it looks like to me. Looks, yeah, they do not match at all. Doesn't look wild enough for me. Um, for yeah, it doesn't Fox really look that wild. Too white. Um, too much order here. Tiles, locations, <laughs> paths. That shouldn't, oh boy. Be here. shouldn't be here. Giving it the business. This is a stroll through the um, park. It's it does look very much like a park. <laughs> I would agree. Um, but Over it is a good 600 components. Over 600. Oh my goodness. Uh, but it is a good looking board. I just don't know if it matches um, mm -hmm. what I was expecting it to do. I would agree. It does look more like a walk through the park. Um, yeah. type game um, and then you got dual layered boards which is nice always nice always nice oh yeah maples Ooh. fox maples screen printed looks like um it's a standing versus sitting sides. yes nice to have those options <laughs> uh, you just reminded me of uh, your dog cookie when she stares at me from the top of the stairs the squinting eyes that's true she does give that look she's kind of foxy at that point no. Yeah, I mean the rest of this looks pretty pretty good, but uh, definitely they showed the best stuff right away, I think. Oh my goodness. Ah, you somewhere. take that back. You take that I back. I take it back. That looks good too. I like the Get screen printed stuff. What why Bar. did Carson City not do this? Where is the screen printing on those? Shame on you, Carson City. Shame <laughs> on you. Oh my god, more screen printing. Look at that. A hunter. Screen printed hunter. I never knew I needed. Oh my god, a beaver. Really need the beaver. The cheese. Yes. Need the cheese. Um a Firefox mini expansion. <laughs> they should have just had the Firefox logo. They should have. Who, who's gonna come get it? Come after him. <laughs> um how to oh. play. So yeah, it seems like it, like all those mechanisms you mentioned, it's a feature. Um, 
I didn't see anything overly unique that really stood out to me, but mm -hmm. looks like a solid blend of mechanisms I enjoy. Um, a lot going on, it seems like. Maybe a I little agree. too much for me to get too excited about it, but um, yeah. I like all the different parts of it, especially this den area, kind of exploring um, your den. That looks interesting to me. Mm -hmm. um, I'd agree. I, I think it had a lot of interesting looking like this Fox mechanisms in it, but <laughs> but yeah, I don't. It's it's tough tough to tell if they'll actually all come together well, uh, or if it's going to feel like some of the stuff is more tacked on. I'm mm -hmm. not sure, yeah. but yeah. yeah, a lot of it looks like some interesting stuff, and I think it has the potential to be a. I think if it's good, it's probably going to be a big hit. Yeah, would be my yeah, guess I, if it is good. I think the theme, um, for sure, um, and the cover, whether you like it or not, I think it just it just gives it the feel of something like a wingspan type of game. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's going to be talked about. I don't know if it's going to be well received, if it's going to last, but upon finally release, and I think this one's going to be very popular. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely going to be in the hotness. Um, pledges are. A hundred and twenty bucks. Can't that is ninety bucks. That's the thing that I'm. I don't know if I'm seeing that. I think it's just tough for me. Um, but maybe board games are just this much just these days. But it's kind of just making me think too of like the Carson City one. It just, it just feels like a lot. But yeah, maybe it's, I, maybe it is that much. I there are know. a lot of components there, um, and I would say they're nicer um, than the Carson City. Not to. We, we can't escape the negativity towards <laughs> um, but yeah, all the components look really nice the artwork looks nice um, and it is just one pledge level it looks like I mean you can get multiple <laughs> copies but right um, yeah so I like that's that. the thing so but yeah um, I don't know if there'll be I guess I didn't see if there's gonna be a retail option. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I was a little worried when it said December 2023, but it said that that was a mistake. So, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> so I kind of was a little worried. I'm like, okay, this is our first game, and I mean, they, they can do it. I'm not saying you can't, but it's yeah. being a little ambitious, a little ambitious <laughs> for April, May instead of so a yeah. little more breathing from there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 18 bucks shipping. Yeah, is there a why back now type thing? Not sure if they mentioned if there was going to be plans for retail. I can't remember if this one had that or not. But yeah, I, I think, you know, with Carson City, at least when they're charging that, it's a game that I think seems like it was well received, at least at some point, and just hasn't been in print, maybe. Um, so I can see maybe charging a little bit more there and whatnot, and you're including kind of some expand some content that came out in expansions or promos or whatever. So you know, you add a little value on that and stuff. Um, I think it's just going to be tough. Some of these, just in general, I think for me, it's just, just kind of that sticker shock of, okay, this is yeah. an unproven game. Um, so yeah. it's just kind of, I mean, it could be an amazing, amazing, fantastic game. Yeah. And I hope it is, uh, but it's just kind of hard to be like, yep, I'm going to go into this, you know, yeah, that, Kickstarter that's, version. It it's so hard. Um, games can always look so good, um, mm -hmm. just from components. Everything can look fantastic, and it looks fantastic in a familiar way to where I'm willing to kind of like give it credit that mm -hmm. maybe it hasn't earned, um, just because it can remind me component wise and mechanism wise of so many other games that I'm like, oh, this one's gonna be good too. But yep. we don't actually know that. Um, but with that said, I can say this one will be good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's. I, I hope it, it is. I think it'll. I do. Hope it looks it. like it's got some interesting stuff in it. That's so. a very deep looking box. I'm hoping. Uh, I know that. That's another thing. I don't, I don't know that it. I don't know. Just looking at it, I mean, there's definitely a lot of stuff in there. Don't get me yeah. wrong. It looks like it's got a table presence, but I don't know if it needs to be that big. Yeah. Maybe it does. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see when we don't get it. <laughs> we'll see when other people uh, receive their copies and see how much they're actually having in that box. Because 
I don't, I don't, I don't know that it needs to be that that makes it i don't know that it is that big but it makes it look like the foundation of rome box or something <laughs> it does, it does make it <laughs> i'm like big. okay what's in this game that takes up <laughs> that much space my goodness uh, your very own pet fox <laughs> onto this oh. one which is a bit different um, i don't know if it is it the first non board game project I forget if we've looked at anything weird before. I think this is the first one that we've done that hasn't been an actual board game. Uh, but it's related. It's Board Games on My Mind, book on game design by Adam Kupinski, who I believe did, has done several games. I think his highest rated one is Nemesis, which I think might be in the top 20, 20, 20 or 25 in yeah. Board Game Geek. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah. he's definitely Lord of Hellas as well. Frostpunk Origins for yep. Builders have not played any of those. Um, I have not played any of them either. Like Nemesis, uh -huh. I've heard great things about that, I've heard good things about the others as well. Um, so a designer that is at least established and competent in at least designing for giant games. Um, mm -hmm. so not just some nobody you don't know telling you how to design a game. Right. Yeah. I, I'm i interested to see kind of what this actually ends up being. I, I'm also a little confused, I guess. Um, well, I guess I guess Origins is a board board and dice game, right? Mm, yeah. Okay. yeah. I guess that I makes so. more sense. Um, because I was like, Nemesis, is, I don't think is board and dice, and <laughs> I don't know that Lord of Hellas is, and uh, the Frostpunk one I don't think was. So I was like, why is Board and Dice the one launching this? Yeah. <laughs> but it must have been the, I think they did put out Origins First Builders. So that makes a little more sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's got 339 backers, about a week left. Um, yeah. And it's, I think, talking about the design process. I'm not exactly 100% sure what's all in the book, but yeah, um, yeah. Um, I'd be interested to give this one a read and see. Um, Especially if yeah. I were to ever really get into trying to design a board game, um, yeah, I think yeah, this one sure. could potentially be good at, um, yeah, maybe seeing what you should be focusing on or doing at certain points in the uh, process. Um, maybe things yeah. you wouldn't necessarily think about if you have no experience in it in the past. Um, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. It's for also sure. going to be an interesting thing to see if. Uh, I guess I'm not sure um, how it'll translate. Just because you're a good board game designer doesn't necessarily mean you're also a good writer. Oh, um, it'll be interesting to see. So he not isn't a good writer. Adam, I have no a idea. Great designer, but it turns out he's a great writer too. Says Rado Runson. Well, Rado, he's questioning two, two. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is true. That, that question yeah. mark is very. Telling her, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not saying he isn't. I, I just sometimes it's like, oh, you know, yeah, maybe expect a mm -hmm. little bit yeah. different since that, yeah, might not be what he usually does. Uh, he's the yeah, I'm, games. I'm definitely interested in it. Uh, we watched the kind of documentary of Ryan Lockett and I forget what it was mm -hmm. it called again, but it's kind of his process of making now or never. Yeah. Uh, forget the name of it but that was really interesting to kind of get behind the scenes of his process and i'm sure it's different for every designer out there um, mm -hmm. as someone who has 20 or probably more just little notes of little game ideas and um, <laughs> fantasizing one day of maybe designing a game or something like that um well, it'd be interesting it's to definitely a lot of work so see how it goes uh, yeah it's not right it'd be nice to know kind of you know, it, it might inspire you to know, like, you know, if he's going through it and saying, oh, this process takes, or this part of it takes six months where um, then you kind of know, like, okay, well, if I'm really going to try to do this, you know, it, yeah. I have to be willing to know that it's not going to be, oh, I'm, I've got it all figured out in one month. Unless you're Reiner Canizia. I mean, he's pumping out a game a day almost. I mean, he designed <laughs> four of them in the time it's taken to uh, film this video. Exactly. <laughs> And he's also probably sleeping at this time, but he's designing <laughs> them while he's sleeping. <laughs> it 
it would be a book by him would be also very interesting to see how comparable the processes were. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to see more of them, just more behind the scenes of really mm. give people an idea of how it works. Because um, I know I have almost no clue exactly how it works. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, that'd be interesting because Shirley's are definitely characters as well. Anyone who's willing to design board <laughs> games for a living, uh, just look at the Dr. Canizia himself, <laughs> Mr. Votai. I'm sure he has stories. I wouldn't wouldn't doubt it, uh, for sure. Yeah, but... not too expensive either. Um, so mm -hmm. be fifteen euros or fifteen euros for the PDF version, or twenty for both. And shipping looks like um, eleven or under euros uh, mm -hmm. wherever you are here for that. So yeah. pretty solid shipping there. I guess I'm not sure. I've, I've never really e-read books. Yeah. It's not usually your PDF, is it? It's not that I've seen. So, so that's interesting. I guess I don't know if... I don't know. I don't know if they're going to have that type of version of it. I have no idea. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Sure. yeah. So there is this one to look at if you're an aspiring game designer. Potentially. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, that's all the projects. Oh boy, that's a lot of them. That uh, is the biggest to date. Take my money. Uh, I'm actually interested in a lot. A that lot. is, I, I am interested in most of these. I could, I mean, some of some of them are quite expensive and definitely not going to be added. But there's actually maybe three or four that I could see added to the collection <laughs> at some point. Which is, I need a book on how not to buy more games. <laughs> That'll be a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> and I why no one should buy them. <laughs> exactly uh but yeah that maybe oh boy i just need like to go to some convention that lasts like three months that has access to all these games and figure out which ones we actually really really yeah. like and are worth adding to the collection but yeah for sure yeah, if you've made it this far definitely let us know which one of these you're the most interested in um or if you're interested in something else currently backing something else uh let us know uh but otherwise, we hope to see you on the next one of these. And as always, don't forget to keep on nibbling on our content.